12th of December 2018, Wednesday. This is a veteran educational video to show how we do a IDEX snap lepto test. So we we'll start with the beginning where the blood is collected. All components must be at room temperature mm. before running the test. You can only open the container when mm. you're going to use it. Okay. okay. Half an hour, right? Yes. Half an hour before they are from the fridge, right? Yes. Okay, so this is the, what do you call this? S snap test for lepto. Okay, start. So we collected blood and wait for it to coagulate mm. to collect the serum. Serum, okay. So the serum is come here. So this is Put the down. serum. Yeah. And you need to put it on the container where you will be mixing it with three drops. One, two, three. And this is the one, the blue it's one. It's with the coagulant. Four, four drops. Four drops in the same. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then, then close it. Mix the serum and try not to cover it now. Okay. Three to five times. Three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Then, yeah. what happened? Place the device on a horizontal surface. Add the entire contents of the sample tube to the sample well, which is this one. Okay. Be careful not to spill it out. He's trying to let me video. Don't, don't block my. Don't block my video because your hand should be on the side. Okay. Then when the color first appear in the activation circle, mm -hmm. push the activator firmly. Not yet. I haven't reached the circle yet. You know. So it reached already. Yeah. Uh, first. So you need click. to press firmly. Okay. Make sure that it. Which is horizontal. Read test result at 10 minutes. Mm, 10 minutes, so what's the time now? So see your watch. See the watch. What's the time? 6 10. Okay. Okay, so 10 minutes. So result would be at least 10 minutes. 6.20. Now as you can see, the sample spots have disappeared, the blue, just now there were two blue spots. Huh? Now is it horizontal? Put the table down a bit, is it horizontal? Not this one. So at the moment you see there is nothing, no, no blue. Color, blue spots. Huh? Although originally you can see two blue spots before we put the what you call that conjugate the sample. Yeah. Yeah. Sample and conjugate. Hmm. So we have to wait ten minutes, and uh, I will stop the video for the. I will see the dog come. In. Just, we're going to have a look at the dog and then come back. Just from the cage, come. Now this is the patient which we took the blood from. Yeah, switch on the lights. Yeah. How many days here already? Okay. Today is the name. Okay. Describe the name, I mean the 
breed all this? This is a six years old female anti uh, chihuahua cross chakra. So. Okay. This is day nine, right? Day nine. Day nine here. What, what day did you come in? Four. Okay. This dog was in another clinic from 27th of November and came here on the on December uh, 4th, right? Uh, the, the first clinic had already tested the dog and discovered that there was azotemia and so they suspect at least uh, leptospirosis so they did a IDEX snap test for lepto and what it was positive and we see the blood test results table and uh, the dog presented with the signs of lethargy not interested in eating and soft stools and this was all so the blood test show liver and kidney enzymes were high so we'll take the table out and we'll show the blood test results here okay and uh, okay let's explain the results there are five blood tests done five blood tests on 28 1st December, 2nd December, 3rd December that was done by the other vet, the first vet. There are six. Hmm? Six, okay. On the 28th, 1st, 2nd, 1st of December, 2nd of December, 3rd of December, then 8th of December and 12th of hmm, December. This is a faucet pattern. So there were six blood tests done for this case, which was already confirmed canine leptospirosis by the first vet clinic. The, the IDEX snap lepto test was done on 1st of December by the other clinic and it was positive. So, so positive is positive is on uh, just a great snap funny. test 1st December 1st December 01 01 slash 12 this is right now here IDEX positive IDEX snap test positive uh, IDEX snap lepto positive by the first clinic so and so we have a summary of the of the uh, blood tests we start with anemia now anemia how is it? none none Okay, from the blood test, complete blood cell count. Leukocytosis and neutrophilia, how many times? Four. Four times, including recently? No. Recently, uh, no. 11. Normal already. Uh, 11 of December uh, goes down to normal. Normal, okay. So that's important, uh, that one, leukocytosis and neutrophilia normally indicate a bacterial infection when they are high. So you can see, 4 out of 6 is it? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4. When was it negative? To, to 11 and? 11 uh, on, and the se on the first, it's not done. Oh, it wasn't Complete done. Complete blood wasn't done. Wasn't then done by that one. Yes. Okay, so then they didn't on the 11, is normal already. So we wouldn't know. It might be, it might be positive because it wasn't done by that one. Okay, then now we analyze the third one, thrombocytopenia, right? Yeah. No. Was it? None. None, okay, it wasn't, it was none, not, not present. But now thrombocytos, thrombocytosis is not uh, relevant in this case, so we cancel it. And anyway, it was not uh, present, uh, not significantly present. Okay, just control the fan. Uh. Now we look at the biochemical changes. Huh? Biochemical changes. So we start with azotemia, which is an increase in blood urea, nitrogen, and uh, creatinine. Okay, how many times? Four. Four. How First are, four blood tests. How are today? Eleven? Today is uh, normal. Normal, right down there, normal. Later we'll get a proper table type up and we'll put normal, okay? Because today is important. 
is day 9 here already yeah. then the third one what's the next one? the second is increased liver enzyme increased liver enzymes okay just summarize it how many times? Uh, one, the, two, three, four, including today today yeah, 11 yeah. so the liver is still infected then the next one hyperbilirubinemia mm. none none on or not done. Huh? None on blood okay, tests. Not, uh, blood tests, huh? Yeah. Okay, the next one? Electrolytes disturbances. Uh, uh, on first on first, first blood test. For blood <coughs> test and probably not not uh, done recently, yeah. Okay, the next one? Urine test. Mm, uh, now we look at urine test, okay. Let me look for uh, blood, sugar, and of course, these are the important ones because it affects uh, kidney functions. Okay, the the blood, any blood? I think um, the vet, the first vet had done no, a little bit, a small amount of blood. Yeah. Decrease, and, mm, <laughs> decrease specific gravity? Mm, yeah. No. Mm, okay, next one. Glucosuria, negative. Mm. Granular cast, not, uh, not done. Not done. This is the first. Proteinuria negative. Mm. Uh, we didn't do any urine tests in in the inpatient dog. Okay, so is it ten minutes? So now we, two more, one more minute. So now we covered the uh, three. Is it how many? What the three three? One is first one is what? One two. No, first two, one is. Uh, first one is complete blood count. Okay, so second one. Biochemical changes. Third one. Urine test. Fourth one. IDEX. IDEX. Lepto test. test. It was done on uh, on the first of December in the other clinic. It was positive. Okay, now let's go and see the step test now. No need to bring this already. It's ten minutes. Still flowing. Still positive. Okay, so we confirm. What uh, the vet one had. So this is the positive, positive control. control, positive dot. Then this is the control dot. No, this is a sample spot. Okay, so sample when the spot. two are, are are shown, when the two two spot develop color, this shows that the dog has antibodies to the leptospira. Okay, now I will just show this. Uh, I have a slide here. Okay, I have a slide. You hold, hold for me this camera. Let me get the... Let me get the slide out here from my computer. Okay, we'll see here. Now, I don't know whether it can show clearly or not. Okay, I enlarge it. Can you show, show clearly? The fish of the... Can be seen clearly? Yeah. Okay, now this is what we, you, you see. This is another dog. Now, when, when uh, it is positive, these two blue spots should appear. This is the positive control spot. These two are considered sample spots. So when there are two blues, it's canine leptospirosis positive. And uh, this IDEX snap lepto test it's a simple test, easy to do. Positive results, two sample spots develop color too. Negative means only positive control spot develop color, means only one only. This one would be not, there will be nothing seen here. Okay, so positive results indicates presence of antibodies to any of the following uh, serovas of Lectospira. So, Ripo, Typhosa, Canola. Pomona and Etherohemorrhagia. Okay, this is not the same dog, but this is the one. Okay, we show here. The, and as you can see, uh, you can see the blue. Yeah, this is the control spot, positive control spot. If it's only if this one is only shown, that means it's negative. If there are two blue spots shown, that means uh, it is leptospira positive on huh? two uh? this is these two are considered sample spots 
can it be seen? Now this is not very blue. It's not very blue, but it still can be seen. Uh, it's blue because of the treatment. The we have treated it for at least uh, nine days plus. The other clinic at least four days, so thirteen days of antibiotics. So you will expect uh, this to be not so blue. Uh, this this one is the important one. Uh. So this is the not so blue. Look at this one. This more. This one is more. It's bluer. At the beginning, what the first vet said was it was very, very positive because it will be a deeper blue. Eh? So that that was that would be what the first vet has seen, but it's not the same, same uh, as this image because this is uh, another dog. I don't have it from the first vet. Okay, so now I'm going to conclude. I'm going to conclude the video, educational video on okay, leptospirosis and uh, I hope it's, it, it is of uh, use to vets and vet students studying for the exams on the diagnosis of canine leptospirosis. Now the, the best test is still the PCR. The PCR test is a uh, The PCR test is called polymerase chain reaction test. Now it detects leptospirosis species DNA, and uh, the whole blood and urine are tested simultaneously. And in early stages of infection, and also for detection of urine, urinary shedding in sick animals. Now PCR on blood will be positive early in the infection but it's expensive and prior to zero conversion urine will become positive 9 to 4, 7 to 14 days after infection at which time the DNA evidence of leptospirus may or may not be detected in the blood now there's another test it's called the K9 leptospira species antibody by ELISA well this one can be used as a convalescent cases where the dog is recovering and it's cheaper than PCR tests on blood and urine and uh, now this dog is an interesting case because actually this is a wet market dog and uh, there are rats in the wet market because they have food Singapore's wet market usually have food stores and of course uh, garbage dump with food so rats are always a big problem so the rats may be infected in the urine might have infected this uh, patient uh, who, who was presented with signs of lethargy anorexia soft stools and a, a lower temperature 37.6 at the first vet on November 27, 2018. The vet suspect canine leptospirosis from the blood test and did the IDEX snap test, lepto test on December 1. So it was positive. Now, due to some economic reasons, the owner came to talk about your vets. And uh, so we continue with the treatment. The dog was given tube feeding, nasogastric tube feeding, and the medication as well, mainly doxycycline and clavulox. Now, antibiotic treatment should eliminate the bacteria soon, within the one or two days. But the carrier stage is still there, so you need doxycycline syrup for three weeks to eliminate the carrier's date. I hope this video is of use to vet students and dog owners. I shall end now.